Asbestos is a naturally occurring material, it's a fibrous material which is mined out of the ground and it has physical and chem chemical characteristics which make it dangerous. Um, it, it, the physical, the problem with its physical characteristic is it, it's a fibrous material, fine fibres which are capable of being breathed into lung tissue and even to the outer part of the lungs and into the pleural membrane that surrounds the lung. It's also chemically very resistant. It's a tough material, it's very chemically resistant to being digested and got rid of. Um, and certain fibre types particularly tend to persist. They, they resist um, eradication by the body and, and, and that resistance tends to set up an inflammatory process which can also eventually turn malignant. One peculiarity of asbestos disease is that it often presents clinically many years after exposure. That's really true of almost all asbestos-related diseases, but particularly it's true of mesothelioma, where patients can be exposed to asbestos uh, and then present with problems 20, 30, 40 or even more years later. So there's a very long latent period. Which, um, which can cause problems when it comes to identifying uh, what those exposures have been and whether there is an identifiable uh, firm or insurer um, who, who can be called to account. The, the symptoms of chest disease are very non-specific. Most chest diseases can cause a cough, a shortness of breath, occasionally chest pain um, and patients who have a malignant condition, a tumour, also get systemic effects like loss of appetite, uh, weight loss, sweating and just feeling weak and generally listless and unwell. I think the first port of call should be your GP um, to have a clinical assessment almost certainly a chest x-ray uh, and a discussion about what the findings are and dependent on those findings whether you should be referred for to a, a chest specialist like, like myself. If, if it looks as if there is a compensatable condition uh, then it, it, it's also sensible to contact a good solicitor. Well, I think it's important to contact somebody who knows the territory. There is quite a process to be gone through, statements to be prepared, referral to a specialist, uh, and I think handling all that with expertise and as rapidly as possible uh, and getting the maximum award available is, is obviously uh, very important.